हेलो गाय दिस इज स्वप्न पटेल अगेन फ्रॉम योर यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल वन बिफोर मॉन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल एंड डोंट फॉर सब्सक्राइबर प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस बेल आइकॉन यू कैन गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियो अपडेट वंस अगेन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी मोटर प्रोडक्शन डिवाइसेस ओ एल आर ऑल्सो नोन एज ओल्ड लोड रिले एंड एम मोटर प्रोडक्शन सर्किट ब्रेकर ऑल्सो इट्स वर्किंग कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड कनेक्शन हाउ वी कैन कनेक्ट टू इट ओके so let's start so first of all we will see about olr okay so this is our olr so it has this is our nc you can see 95 and 96 this is our you know 97 and 98 okay this is our current setting knob means whatever the rating of motor current here we can set or we must have to set otherwise it will not gives protection against okay this is our auxiliary terminal this is not the part of that olr this is for conductor we will see about later okay this is our three phase in and this is our three phase out t1 t2 and t3 okay so when the olr gets stripped that uh, green color of pin that come out okay and when it come out means it trip and when that nc will become a no and that no will become a nc why this is we will see later okay so when we have to reset the olr we have to push that plus sign of blue push button okay so now we will move towards or we will move construction of olr so here you can see this is a construction of olr so it contain three by metal strip together that is one that is two that is the three for all three phase okay with trip coil trip mechanism look here so when the my metal strip are heated by motor current cause then it bend and activate the trip mechanism and it pull the lever and here is you know that will become a nc when the lever is pull or when the trip okay mechanism is trip and that what was our nc that will become a no means open okay so that is the construction and working of olr so olr is the uh, primary device okay it just a uh, coil sensor over current or overload okay so it give command to trip coil to trip means it give command to contactor to trip or to disconnect the supply of motor so for that we will see also we will see contactor look here to disconnect the supply we need a contactor so here you can see the contactor so before i would like to tell little bit about that contactor okay so contactor has three terminal l1 l2 and l3 this is for three phase in and t1 t2 t3 that is for three phase out okay this is our auxiliary terminal a1 and that is our a2 terminal auxiliary terminal 2 for negative supply okay that is for positive okay means that is a coil supply okay from there we can give to coil okay so this is the contactor coil of 1110 volt ac that's why we give one 110 volt ac to that contactor okay so when we will supply the supply to that coil of contactor that will get energized and due to the law of ferromagnetic induction it will produce magnet and that contactor will operate and our we will get output from t1 t2 and 3 t3 okay so in this way the contactor operate but here if we use the nc of that olr so when the olr get trip that nc will become you know and it will open and the it will disconnect the supply of single phase also the disconnect of supply of contactor and it will not produce magnet and the contactor will not operate means contactor will disconnect the supply of that motor in this way the contactor and olr operates okay here we can see that 96 and 95 nc terminal okay when it gets strip that nc will become you know and that will disconnect the supply of contactor and contactor will disconnect the supply of that motor okay means it is just a primary device which need to 
means it give command to trip coil to trip okay in this way our olr and conductor works okay so this is about our olr so now we will see about mpcb so here this is our second protection device mpcb okay motor protection circuit breaker it's not need a external contactor or other thing just because it has inbuilt olr plus short short circuit connected to trip coil means it get trip itself when the coil sends over current or short circuit current okay so also we will see construction of that olr here same as here you can see the three in terminal l1 l2 and l3 three phase out l t1 t2 and t3 so here same like olr we will get current setting now and we will we will pull the switch means the olr mpcb will on and when it get trip it will come down okay so here we can see the construction of mpcb look this is a coil this sends whatever the over current or over current or short circuit current and that give command to trip coil to trip mechanism okay so in this way the mpcb works okay so hope you guys you understand so now we will see what is the difference between olr and mpcb okay so we all know the first major difference is that olr coil will just the sense and give command to trip to trip coil to trip okay but in case of mpcb it has inbuilt olr plus short circuit connected to trip coil this is the first major difference okay the olr gives protection against overload and over current also mpcb gives protection against short circuit current and over current okay olr is the relay which sends the overload current that means more than 100% of motor capacity okay but whereas mpcb breaks the circuit during short circuit that is current range of 5 to 10 time the rated current okay so that was our difference between olr and mpcb so hope you guys you understand and thanks for watching